an 80 year old man is due to undergo an end arteritomy of the internal carotid artery which of the following nervous structure are most at risk during the dissection recurrent laryngeal nerve sympathetic chain hypoglossal nerve phrenic nerve lingual nerve the correct answer would be hypoglossal nerve so let's explain why this is the correct answer nerve at risk during a carotid endarterectomy are hypoglossal nerve greater auricular nerve superior laryngeal nerve during a carotid endarterectomy the sternocleidomastoid muscle is dissected with ligation of the common facial vein and then the internal jugular is dissected exposing the common and internal carotid arteries the nerve at risk during operation include hypoglossal nerve greater auricular nerve superior laryngeal nerve The sympathetic chain lies posteriorly and is less prone to the injury during this procedure. Internal carotid artery. The internal carotid artery is formed from the common carotid opposite the upper border of the thyroid cartilage. It extends superiorly to enter the skull via the carotid canal. From the carotid canal, it then passes through the cavernous sinus, above which it divides into the anterior and middle cerebral arteries. Relations in the neck. Posteriorly longus capitis prevertebral fascia sympathetic chain superior laryngeal nerve medially external carotid near origin wall of pharynx ascending pharyngeal artery laterally internal jugular vein and vagus nerve anteriorly sternocleidomastoid lingual and facial vein hypoglossal nerve relation in the carotid canal internal carotid plexus cochlear and middle ear cavity Trigeminal ganglia superiorly leaves the canal lies above the foramina lacerata path and relation in the cranial cavity the artery bends sharply forward in the cavernous sinus the abducens nerve lies close to its inferolateral aspect the oculomotor trochlear ophthalmic and usually the maxillary nerves lie in the lateral wall of the sinus near the superior orbital fissure it turns posteriorly and passes posteromedially to pierce the roof of the cavernous sinus inferior to the optic nerve it then passes between the optic and oculomotor nerve to terminate below the anterior perforated substance by dividing into anterior and middle cerebral arteries branches of the internal carotid arteries are anterior and middle cerebral artery ophthalmic artery posterior communicating artery anterior choroid artery meningeal arteries hypophyseal arteries if you have liked the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel